Oklahoma City is the national headquarters for the Amateur Softball Association, and it's here where you can also find the Four Field Complex and Museum. Now, the museum itself is broken into different parts. When you first come in the door, it's our, it's our gift shop, where we have a lot of different things, whether it be college paraphernalia uh, for the uh, different colleges that have been here in our College World Series teams, uh, officials gear, uh, or just softball t-shirts. The true birth and history of the sport are examined next. The ASA softball was founded back in 1933, and softball itself was actually founded back in the 1800s in the uh, Minneapolis area. Uh, the firehouse in Chicago is really known as the birthplace for softball, uh, and then we located here in Oklahoma City back in the 70s. The Hall of Fame immediately follows where you can see the various players and coaches and sponsors and commissioners and umpires who make up such a significant part of the sport. Now the true discipline of the sport and college corner begin the next level of exploration as well as the past champions from the NCAA and players of the year. It also contains a, a fixture of our international events and how we fared uh, at world championships and American games and such. And then the rest of it's pretty much devoted to our grassroots program, which is our um, girls uh, junior Olympics fast pitch, uh, boys fast pitch, our boys slow pitch, uh, all the way up through our men's and women's and slow pitch adults as well as fast pitch adults. Uh, another big area of our grassroots program obviously is our umpires, uh, over 30,000 umpires around the United States strong. Uh, and we are known as the best amateur sports officiating group in, in the United States. And don't forget the Olympic Room. It's where they honored the four years that they participated in the Olympic Games, 1996, 2000, 2004, and 2008. The National Softball Hall of Fame and Museum really is a hidden gem. Let's talk about the location for just a second. Across the street, you have the National Firefighters Museum. Of course, down the street from them, you have the Oklahoma City Zoo. Next to them, you have Science Museum Oklahoma. Go across the street one more time, you have Remington Park. These are all big partners in the Adventure District right here in Oklahoma City. But it's the stadium that draws much attention each and every year. The NCAA Women's College World Series has been held here every year except one since the 80s. When it first started, we were drawing 21, 20,000 to 25,000 people for the week. Now that event is up over 70,000 uh, for the week-long event. Uh, it just keeps growing each and every year. Softball is a family sport and it's one anyone can play and an added bonus in attending an exciting game at the stadium is visiting the museum which is open 350 days a year. In the summertime from Memorial Day or actually the two weeks prior to Memorial Day until Labor Day we're open every day of the week. Um, we have been here and continue to grow our museum. It's not just ASA softball anymore. It has the Olympic room. It has the college corner. It's a great place for families to come in and when we have one of our 32 events that we host on an annual basis, it's a very well liked place.